Welcome to BMW Today. My name is Joy and today's episode is not about cars. Well, somehow it's about sim racing. And to tell me more about that, I have with me Pia. Hi Pia, how are you doing? Hi Joy, I'm fine. Thank you very much for having me today. Tell me, what is your job in the company? By now I'm heading the BMW Esports Marketing, that means esports gaming as well as sim racing. Okay, so you know everything about the sim racing here. Oh, yeah, a bit. Well, a little <laughs> bit. Okay, fine. Tell me, what's the strategy behind the idea of sim racing and BMW? Sim racing is like the future of motorsport, so it's a great opportunity to catch up for us uh, with the future. So I think we need to be more in a young and digital environment for the future. And sim racing, for sure, is an experiential part of the story, so we want to be part of that. Okay, so tell me, quite a big setup here, what is happening today? Oh, in this case, you better talk to our famous host today, to Ben, because he knows. Okay, then thank you for your time. Hope to see thank you soon you again. Much. I'll just go over to Ben. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Ben. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Can you explain a little bit what is it all about? BMW got involved with sim racing, the idea of racing a car online uh, on yeah. your computer. Uh, and over the last couple of years, have increased their support uh, to have an event last year, which was uh, kind of a test event and okay. then this year which was supposed to be a gathering of hundreds of sim races but obviously covid stopped that yeah we're still going live online across okay. a huge audience of our bmw motorsport fans so who's taking part in the race there's been literally thousands of competitors qualifying to get involved they tend to be different teams from around the world okay. you know, they're all logging on from whether they're in america in europe or even in asia logging on to the same race racing at the same time, sending mm. their pictures to us for us to commentate on to show you. Oh, wow. All at the same time. I guess there's different cars as well? Yes, we're using two different cars. The, the M2, which is the kind of a customer car which you or I could get in and feel pretty comfortable with being a racing driver. The M2 CS, as the I heard. The M2 CS okay. Racing Cup. Okay, very cool. Um, but the M8 GTE is an all-out professional race car, okay, and, and yeah. that's the other car that Okay, so the high-end cars. Yeah, if we got in that, we'd really struggle to get it moving. <laughs> There's a simulator, I guess. Can I have a closer look to that? Yeah, sure. Let's move over. Okay, it looks like a proper system here. Computer, yep. a real racing seat? Yeah, but you could actually put, take that and put it into a real race car. Okay, but something is missing, Ben. Uh, yes, the pedals are here, but the steering wheel is not. Yeah, where is it? Uh, it's actually in that car, because you can use the steering wheel here, in there as Nowhere. well. Nowhere. I know, right. Shall I go and get it? Really? Yeah. Yeah, so here it is, made by Fanatec, who are known for making sim racing wheels. This is probably the first time they've made a wheel that also is used in real life. For the M4 GT3. Yeah, just clicks on like this. It's really, really easy. Okay, so from that car, like into this simulator. Yeah, and look, because this is the M4 GT3 in the simulator, ah. it even has the lights and the buttons in exactly the no same place. No way. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, I would love to have this but I think my girlfriend won't like this in the living room. No, exactly. You kind of need a man cave, don't you? And yeah. But BMW have come up with a cunning plan. Uh, okay. BMW Design Works uh, have designed the Fusion Concept SL. And I think mm. Martin Tomczyk, the professional BMW driver, yeah. is just over there with it. I'll just move over. Thank you very much for your time, Ben. No worries. Hope to see you soon again. Get some practice yeah, yeah. in. Enjoy. Hi Martin, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing super actually. Fancy chairs you have here. Yeah, not just the chairs are fancy. Actually, the yeah. part in the middle is even more fancy. Yeah, I was told here's a simulator, but I only can see a table. And that's the clue about it. But should I convert it that you can see? Because is you it? can convert this table into a simulator. Okay, I'm now excited. Yeah, Show okay. Me. It's pretty easy. Okay. It's just two buttons you have to press, so it comes up uh -huh. this direction. And then, see? The steering wheel pops that's up. That's something I can tell my girlfriend and she will accept it because it's not well, visible. Yes, that's actually true. And you have the pedals down here. So throttle, braking, everything is included. And then we actually, you can race. Since you're a professional race driver, what do you think in future? Will sim racing and real racing come closer to each other and combine 
something? Yeah, could be. I mean, we see this already now. The, mm -hmm. the, the sim racing uh, group is really growing quite a lot and it's coming closer and closer together. And perhaps, who knows, we see a championship that combines both, you know, mm. sim racing and real racing would be cool at the end. Very nice. And before I ask my last question, yes, sure. thank you very much for your time. I would like to sit there and try that. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Very Have cool. Very cool. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon again, Martin. Thank you. And you guys out there, thanks for watching BMW today. I will give it a try and hope to see you soon again.